Good morning. Morning. Come along, nas bele kam kana maya ba. Welcome to my YouTube channel, guys. This is gonna be a lot, okay? I'm not sure what I'm gonna cut this video into three or do like one long video. I don't know. But um, this is a vlog. These are vlogs. Um, we have a trip. We have a road trip to the Eastern Cape. Um, the road trip is going to serve um, three purposes. Number one, we are going because my niece, um, one of the girls, the old one, um, is matriculating and um, she has a matric dance coming up. And um, so we need to prepare for that. Um, we made her dress um, in Johannesburg and um, she's actually on her way to Johannesburg. I think she arrived um, via bus and uh, we need to do final fittings and then tomorrow we're gonna um you know travel down with her and then prepare for the metric dance it's been a lot it's been a lot um it's been a lot because also i've had time to reflect i mean she's 18 she arrived at our house at, like when she was two and now she's 18 right and um i was just reflecting the other day how she came to um to live with us so Uma Mike, her mom is like like a family friend slash cousin ne? um she passed away probably what almost 10 years ago no not 10 years ago five six i can't remember but she passed away so what had happened was um when i was born uh, mama went back to where she was she, she she grew up and through a family friend someone she grew up with um she was looking for someone that's going to basically grow with us that was a little bit older than my brother and i so this girl came to live with us ne? and um yeah that's how Oluto's mom came to live with us she took care of me and um but life happened man guys life happened um she left our house um had uluto had two other children in total she had three and yeah uh, so when i look at uluto um it's bringing back so many different memories for me and i'm just hoping umamake is proud of the job that we have done with her yeah gonna make me very emo it's gonna make me very emo also i'm very excited hey hey sana love you don't do my cool work hang on guys and when's that you don't need to let go oh my lord sure now i'm gonna hear uh son kelly i'm gonna do my cool Kwanza <laughs> Okay, Okay. Okay. I cannot. Anyway, I cannot. status. No pendul. I'm 
baka this is the best of one yeah right I'm plugging on the WhatsApp status I'm funding so I can unplug okay okay Yes, I know. Put this man, this Because wow. Yes, <laughs> and then the Oh, look, about Yes, <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes, Why are we okay. taking photos now? Oh, I want to take a oh, video. video. Oh. Yay. Are you sure? Or are you just saying it? No, but it's going to defeat the whole point. Guys, go because I slid. Yes, 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 I slid. And yes, as I sleep. But I also understand the sleep. Ah, 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 yes, in done. Yes, in done. Ah, ah. In guys, in done. Now, the funny guy, oh, 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 Okay, so she's gonna have. Okay, so she's gonna have. Ilan took straight hair. All the way pushed back. Guys, we've kept someone alive for two months. You don't understand how much of a big deal that is for us. Okay. Um, Looms is going to go and meet face to face um, his grannies. Granny in Port Elizabeth and Granny in Losikisik. So that's what's happening. So we'll first go to Port Elizabeth, do the matric dance thing, spend some time with my mom, and then travel. Um, again to the Sikisiki to spend some time with my mom in law and then come back. Are you ready for this, Lims? He's not happy with me because I had to wake him up. Lims? Oh, also, I had to wake him up at like, well, he did wake up on his own at 2 a.m. What's the time now? It's 20 past 4. So he ate. And then he went straight back to sleep. And then I obviously had to wake him up because I needed to change his nappy. Oh, guys, can you look at my face? Mm, it's popping. Okay. Okay. Are you okay? Do you want to say hello to everyone? No? Say hello. Okay. Hello on his behalf. Oh, dear. Okay. Okay. Hello. Do you want to say hello? I, I, so I know, including you. Naro, Okay, so guys, join us, okay? Please pray for us, or for the road, but also traveling with the tumor. 
baby. I'm a bird. Mm, been there. Mm. Guys, I've never been so happy in my life. Oh! I've never been so happy. In the now. Mm. I can't express myself. Roski, I love you. Do you love mommy? Hmm? Do you like Justin J, your head to be on my on my chest? Okay. Let's let's okay, let's continue before he gets irritable. Okay, join us. Yes, 
Nice, nice, Scatters Cafe, Nina Betuna. Yes, 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 indeed, yes. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, Scatters Cafe, man, it is a warm. It's a nano, see. Ah, that's Hello, Putty. Umsindo, 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 kengo. Umsindo, umsindo, sabani ndo pina tukaya. Umsindo. Oh, 
Du hast ja Brasil. Ja, ja. Bei Das ist ein Mamela, da Mama. Mama, wenn du dich nicht mehr so sehr so sehr 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 so you know young man. I am the Okay, so we I will not mean when you say, I I when I'm a mother, I'm a mother. i Oh, Mama, what she tell you? What kind of man? My mom can't be there. I think I have a big eye as a pinna. Well, what put my old your chichi pinna for the other side? What can't you say? Your chichi pinna. Oh, that's very true. No matter. I must tell you that you pay for the fish all the time. Palangam, stand your son, your one hand. Make sure Palangam. Palangam, mamma. I was so the men that mix dingy echo. Palangam, stand your son. Nazi, no one does it to see one Okay, so let me be very honest. Um, this vlog did not turn out the way I thought it would. Um, and I apologize. Okay, as you can see, like the snippets here and there, and it was not intended to be like that. Um, my intention was that you know we're gonna spend some time with family. Ulum is going to meet um his grandmothers for the first time in the Eastern Cape. We're also going for my niece's um you know matric dance. It's gonna be a lovely time started um vlogging started you know um shooting a couple of stuff started having a good time and then short while after that i'm like you know what it's okay <laughs> it's okay oh guys yeah if i don't laugh then i might just start crying so i have to laugh okay it was just a stressful time it was the most stressful week like since i gave birth most probably it was so stressful it was so stressful and the reason why like i'm so heartbroken about that because i thought it was going to be actually the opposite um since we had we haven't gone home um in quite a while remember i told you that we were gonna go home in december um, but we couldn't because of the complications that I had. I started bleeding and then the doctor was like, no, you can't travel all the way. So it was the first time that I was going to spend some time with family on both sides. Yo, guys. Yeah, I know. Yo. I like that. Yo. 
a couple of months ago there was a, a story Sita okay I'm not gonna name names uh, there was a story that was trending on so uh, on social media I think it was on Facebook ne? so it's this um, local artist very well known a multi-award winning artist yeah one in south africa very well known um he actually comes from a, a lineage of like uh, musicians um his mom was a, a, a well-known musician so the mom who had retired like a couple of years ago um goes on social media through someone else i'm not sure it, it was like a family member or someone um that doesn't seem to be well connected or well linked to the family yeah it was it, because they the family was also quite stunned about what was happening so the mom goes on social media and start asking for donations because she wants to um publish a um or launch um her cd right so everyone is like okay that's a bit weird why is she asking for donations um you know from the public um she has a well-known you know a a son who's in the public space who's doing very well according to us we see him on national tv he's been he's been having like this number one trending um song and yo guys they went hard on him they went hard that he's not taking care of mama i care uh, why is he like that to mama i care we are so called his mom is struggling but he's there he's not supporting his mom yo they went in like they went in guys ne? and knowing what i know from experience i don't know um um the the person personally but understanding the nature of the relationship that i have with my mom um our parents i i took that that whole thing so personal because i'm like oh my gosh this could have been me easily this could have easily been me being bashed like this on social media um and people not actually knowing the full story of what is happening um so i remember during COVID. so it was 2021 right yeah i think it was around 2020 it was like at the height of COVID, um when like the 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 country was shut down and there were regulations um for for you to travel for you to travel to another city you had to have a permit and you only travel because of a funeral ne? so we get a word out that your mama has a, a COVID and she needs to be hospitalized because um her oxygen levels are quite low i'm stressing because number one once again it was a height of a COVID. people are losing their parents left right and center um i can't travel um because of the regulations um i can only rely on my brother um you know who's going to be able to give me more information of what is happening and stuff like that so my brother and i are busy coordinating all of this mama does not want to go to hospital um and, and stuff like that so eventually she um she goes but what i did not realize is that mama started calling like a bunch of people ne? so i get a call a uh, from this pastor friend of hers ne? they've known each other for quite some time they're also friends with the wife pastor friend um literally shouting at me over the phone like what are you guys doing and um you guys are not doing anything what's happening and i'm like i will like who in their right mind who is a parent that is sick and will not act like a, a accordingly like not make sure that their parent is getting um all the necessary help and you're shouting at me i'm in Janice, but you don't know the, the the kind of stress that i'm under the fact that i can't travel ne? but i didn't say any of that i was like okay no it's fine i dropped the call so i called my brother and i'm like can you please tell mom and to stop calling people and possibly telling them that we're not doing anything because i don't know where that narrative is coming from ne? okay so that was the one story most recently uh, i'm sitting at home this is obviously before we traveled and um so that tulumi can meet um the, the the grandparents um so usually we do like a video call on whatsapp and it's facilitated through like um my niece um because obviously my Khan doesn't know how to do the whatsapp videos so every like probably every second day or, or every third day we do a video call mom speaks to lumi and um everything is great so it's a sunday 
and mama is um doing her normal video call with lomi no everything is fine we also chat we're laughing having a good time what 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 okay then like it was a tuesday so i'm on maternity leave obviously i'm at home most of the time so i'm asleep and then i think i had a rough night with the loom i'm a, i'm taking a nap and then when i wake up from the nap i have two missed calls from a number that i don't know and i'm like i'm not gonna call back and and then a few minutes later i get a voice note from the same number on whatsapp and the voice note is from the wife of that pastor that i just spoke about yeah so the wife is 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 oh oh wait so on 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 that day like a morning of that like of that day the tuesday morning um i get a a funny message <laughs> on whatsapp right uh, so it's from my niece and it's a message from mama so it's like a, a like a whole page of mama going in about how um tough she raised us and uh, yeah it was tough raising us and uh, Tina we, we're not taking care of her and stuff like that so usually when mom has one of her episodes I don't entertain I'm like you know what not today not today because I just spoke to you <laughs> like Sunday it's Tuesday morning like what happened from Sunday to now okay I cannot I'm, I'm already too stressed okay i'm a new mom i cannot so later then that day i get that voice note now from the pastor's wife going in on me about how even like the marriage um you know that I, i'm enjoying a uh, the guy wouldn't have you know a uh, sort of known me or wanted to be um with me or marry me if i did not come from a good home and do mama raised us the way she raised us yeah and then she, she's very heartbroken because Umama called her crying hysterically um, about how we are not taking care of her. We never call and stuff like that. Hey, now I'm like, guys, what is going on? So I call my brother. I'm like, did you, did you receive the same message? My brother's like, hey, I received the same message. I did not reply. Do not reply. So one of those episodes, just do not reply. So anyway, um, time goes by. Eventually, oh mama, I guess, gets back to a good um, days. Then I call her and then we chat. And I went back to, I'm like, do you see how we are having a good time laughing and having, you know, a proper conversation? It's unfortunate that the pastor's wife has a totally different story about me and the fact that I don't take care of you. I don't know where that narrative is coming from because literally you have been the center of everything that i do since i was born since like i started working there's nothing that i've done for myself that does not involve my family um if you are someone that has read my book you would understand where this is coming from and it has actually gotten even worse over the years so i don't understand where this is coming from i don't, i'm not sure whether sometimes you have a bad day can we just work out a way how you can manage that instead of pushing this whole narrative of me not being like not taking care of you and i don't even want to count um like the number of things that we continuously ha like do for you like i don't understand where this is coming from no it was one of those days i was i'm like i understand everyone has one of those days but you have one of those days all the time and unfortunately now it now plays out to other people like having this sort of story like i don't know where that where it's coming from anyway so back to the ec um e, the ec trip the eastern cape trip so firstly the metric dance i was already like quite stressed because i didn't realize how much it's going to cost us okay? it was almost ten thousand rand um for the metric dance including everything the the the, the dress the, the the hair the styling the makeup everything you know we needed also to bring her, as you saw, bring her this side, which is a total, that's another story why she had to be brought this side, why her dress needed to be made this side when they're all on the other side in, in PE. That's another totally different story. She had to travel to Joburg because I needed to make the dress in Joburg. Travel to Joburg fit and then we needed to travel with her back to the Eastern Cape. Guys, so that's also now travel costs to the Eastern Cape, ne? 
Um, and also a couple of days before, Umama calls me and she's like, a hey, washing machine broke. The washing machine broke and I'm washing the clothes like um, with my hands. So obviously that doesn't sit well with me. My mom died. She's like 70. Um, okay, so I'll call my brother and I'm like, listen, can you find someone that can fix the the washing machine? So it takes it takes a couple of days. So the days are going by and I'm like, okay, you know what? Whatever. Speak speak to my husband, listen, we need to buy a washing machine. I did not realize how expensive washing machines are, but okay. <laughs> Guys, washing machines are very expensive, okay? <laughs> So we deposit the money in her account to go and pay for the washing machine. I think it was around about what? 9,000 rand, including transport. Né? So anyway, the washing machine, so, so she bought the washing machine on Friday and then the Sunday it, it gets delivered. Né? And so they confirm, oh, the washing machine got delivered. Um, and this is via my niece on WhatsApp. So and then my niece goes, oh, can you send her airtime? And I'm like, okay. <sighs> I just spent like X amount of money that I did not have <laughs> trying to buy <laughs> this machine. And also the cost of Imatric Dance, excluding the cost of traveling to the Eastern Cape. I don't have money <laughs> for anything else, like airtime air and, and stuff like that. Particularly because I know it's just, it was just month end the other day, and we did like forward her Ilan took her monthly allowance. So why am I buying also airtime in a short period of time? And then so I'm like, I don't have money. I don't have money for airtime. I really don't. Okay. So guys, we travel to the Eastern Cape. Ne? So the matric dance uh, happens. I was so stressed. Like, I was so stressed. The, the, the minute she went to a metric dance, I could feel like a whole load um, being taken off of me. Yeah. So now, it's the last day uh, at home. So now we need to travel to uh, my in-laws at Lelusikisik. What happens to the right happens to the left. Need to now travel all the way to Lusikisiki. So we did a Joburg, P-E, P-E, Lusikisiki, Lusikisiki back to Joburg. Yeah. Anyone that has taken those kind of a trips would understand what I mean about the costs. Okay. So, on the last day, we've already done. And the guys, when you travel home, you can't just say, yeah, no, I'm, I just wanted to go and take a break at home. You know, no. Expectations. You need to come bearing things. Plastic bags. You know, food. Takeaways. I, I'm, I want this. I want that. You need to do all those things. So on the last day, after having done all of that, Mama wants Mama is like, eh, before you leave the local um Yeah, you need to make sure you give me money. I'm like, money? Money for what? It's like ah yo, I don't have money. I'm like, Mama, like we just gave you like it was the just the other day, the Malibi date year monthly allowance, excluding like your pension money and stuff like that. So I don't have money. Like I just bought Ilanduge washing machine. Like I just did a metric dance, I'm done. Just the washing machine and the uh, metric dance was probably about just over um seventy almost twenty thousand Rand. I I don't have any other money. like anai mali. Like anai mali. So anyway, so anyway, uh, yeah, go for from na yeah. So she, she she, I'm not sure should I say she listens to me or whatever. So I tell her what I what I'm saying that I don't have money, and then she she strategically requests to speak to school. But then, Andy, I'm not there. So I'm, I'm hearing from school. But hey, 
mama um wants money and i'm like i just spoke to her like I, we don't have money we still need to travel to elu and we don't we don't know what is you know waiting for us that side and once again we just spent all this money like where am i gonna get any mali where are we supposed to get like any mali guys like where like we have a two month um child we have a newborn like there's so much on our plate like i don't understand You know what's very sad about the whole situation? It was a matter of but now I started feeling bad in Atiman and there's something more I needed to do than like what I've already done. And also it made me sad because by the end of it, I'm like, I wanna go now. I can't wait like tomorrow. I need to go because I got to feel like I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. You know, guys like i wish i could make you understand like I, like i wish i can make you understand like I, it it breaks my heart like it breaks my heart it breaks my soul it it demotivates me so much um because especially when you understand the kind of person that you are you try your best um, when I say our lives revolve around our families, like we'll literally put ourselves, um, you know, at the back of everything because we know about, okay, priority is to make sure this and this and this and this and that is done. So to also now receive this kind of treatment, it's so, it, it's so heartbreaking. And the fact that when you're going home, you want to go home because your husband is going to have a peace of mind. Yeah, man. But now it is going to a point where I'm like, I do not, I don't, I cannot. For my mental health, I cannot. Like for my mental health. Otherwise, I'm literally going to go crazy. I don't even want to talk about the rest of the trip. I'm just glad that I'm home. I know there's going to be someone on the comment section that's going to be like, no, so you need to speak to your mom. Guys, if any one of you has dealt <laughs> with the kind of mother that I have for many years, who is dead set on her ways and is never wrong, there's no point. There's literally no point. There's no point. All is right will always yeah she's just always right so just deal with yourself when <sighs> okay i just need to detox um physically emotionally ev like everything i just need to anyway i'm sorry that this vlog is ending like this I'm not going to be here pretending otherwise when I'm not, excuse me, I'm not doing well. Anyway, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm going to be as raw as possible. And that's always been me. Anyway, guys, um, I will see you next time. Okay. Once again, apologies that this vlog did not turn out the way that i wanted just the trip did not turn out the way i wanted but yeah that's life bye guys